So, you just got served with divorce papers in Nevada or Las Vegas, and you don't know what to do. Hello, everybody. My name is Daniel Wealfi, and I am the president and the director of marketing of Vegas Divorce Pros right here in sunny and beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. And we are not attorneys. We are registered legal document preparers who are registered in the state of Nevada to prepare your legal documents, your divorces, annulments, legal separations and all of that for you. OK. Uh, none of the information on these videos shall be construed as legal advice. But now that we have all that housekeeping out of the way, you guys and ladies, let's go ahead and answer that question. All right. So you just got served with divorce papers in the state of Nevada and you don't know what to do. All right. So let's go ahead and first talk about what happens when you get served papers? OK, so if your spouse serves you with uh, divorce papers, basically what they're serving you with is a complaint for divorce. All right. Now, once you have been served with that complaint for divorce, you guys and ladies, it's very, very important that you take heed and pay attention to what I'm about to say next. All right. So once you're served with papers, you have a limited amount of time for you to respond back. OK, the courts actually give you 20 days exclusive of the date of service for you to respond back to the courts in order to um, lodge your answer and file your answer to that complaint. Now, what happens is if you choose to not respond back to the divorce papers that you were served with, then in most cases, you guys, your soon to be ex spouse is going to get what he or she wants in the complaints. All right. So if they're asking for something that's outrageous in the complaint. OK, let's say they want, you know, let's say all your assets, your property, your houses, vehicles, um, all of your 401k, your retirement plan. Let's say you guys have kids and they want full custody of the kids and you don't respond back. Then guess what? You are seriously up the river without a paddle. OK, that's the way the saying goes. All right. So what you want to do, you guys, or what uh, many of our clients do, because, again, I can't give you legal advice, but what many of our clients do uh, when they come to us in that scenario or circumstance is we do what is called an answer and counterclaim to the spouse's complaint for the uh, divorce. All right. So basically what we're going to do is we are going to uh, acknowledge and we are going to accept and deny certain points of the complaint that they lodged against you. OK, so some of the points in their complaint you're going to agree to, obviously, uh, like, hey, we got married on this date. Uh, I am a resident of Las Vegas, right? We're going to agree to that, but we may uh, disagree to certain other points like, hey, I disagree that I should give you $1,000 a month in spousal support or, hey, I disagree that I should get the $20,000 IRS tax bill. OK, you're going to disagree to the points which you are disagreeable to. OK, and then that is the answer. Now, in the counterclaims uh, portion of that document, you guys, that we're going to prepare for you, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to say to the courts that this is what I want out of the, the divorce. OK, so I want the property, the assets, the debts to be allocated this way. And then if you have kids, this is what I want to do in regards to custody, child support, uh, visitation and all that. OK. Uh, regardless, you guys, uh, you definitely want to act fast when you have this because time is definitely of the essence when you get served with a complaint. OK, uh, and then once you get the answer counterclaim prepared, you're going to get it filed to the courthouse. As of the recording of this video, it is a two hundred and seventeen dollar court filing fee to get it filed uh, to the courthouse. All right. But you guys get it done quickly. Um, because again, if your spouse serves you with something outrageous in their complaint and you choose to not respond, there could be some very, very, very adverse effects. Okay. So that being said, you guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask any questions, uh, on this YouTube video, on the Facebook fan page. 
I will be free to answer all your questions, you guys. If you're needing help, uh, we do give out free 15-minute phone consultations at this link that's right below my finger at VegasDivorcePros.com. Uh, call us, text us uh, at the number that's on the website. We'll be glad to help you. So peace and God bless you guys. My name is Daniel Wiafi. We'll see you at the top.